Hey guys, welcome back to AM Live. Good to be with you this morning. I wanted to talk to you this morning about something my son brought up at our recent devotional, and uh, it struck me as uh, a really good question. Fairly basic, but uh, I'm really glad he asked. I love it when the kids bring up questions at the devotional because it means they're listening and paying attention. And what he said was, uh, we had read in Matthew 12, 36, so, uh, let me go straight to that verse. We, we read um, Matthew 11 and 12 that morning, and we also read Psalm 86. But uh, let me just read the verse he asked about. Uh, chapter 12, verse 36 says, But I say to you that for every idle word when men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. So my son, my son had simply asked, What does that mean that will give an account for every idle word? Um, I said, well, it's kind of what it sounds like. We have to be careful what we say. And so I started emphasizing the importance of what we, what we do with our words and how important that is. That, uh, and I just looked up a bunch of verses, and I'll just go through a few here. Uh, I just looked up Taming Your Tongue, and I, it took me to openbible.info. Um, and I'm not, trying, I'm not sponsored by them, but <laughs> this... This uh, site had a whole bunch of verses on the tongue right in a row, so I could just read through them. Uh, Proverbs 21, 23 says, Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Ephesians 4, 29, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Proverbs 15, 1, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So I don't know if you've ever been in a conversation with someone on the phone and you're getting heated and the more heated you get, the more heated they get. And it just per it perpetuates this cycle of anger and, um, and trouble on the phone. But if you're able to remember that you're both people, you both need to be treating each other with dignity and, and give, a, give a soft answer, like it says, rather than getting harsh. Um, the whole situation will probably work out a little better. James 1.26, if anyone thinks he's religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart. Oh, sorry, if anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. That's a good prayer. Psalm 141, verse 3. Um, I... I have a problem with my tongue, and I have for years. Um, and I don't think it's that I'm not wanting to overcome that, or I'm not, you know, submitting that to God. I think each of us have certain things that we're more prone to, whether that's good or bad. And it's something that I have to continually remember because. You know, I can remember as a child saying things that got me in trouble, you know, with my parents or at, in Sunday school class or um, among peers. Uh, and now I have to be careful with my words as I'm raising children and as I'm interacting with my wife or, you know, while I'm at work uh, or among other believers or other people. It's important. And, and I, I know how to use words. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I, I, I did a lot of reading growing up and my mom, uh, read to us, uh, myself and my brothers when we were young. And, you know, um, I have a, a fairly good grasp of the English language and grammar. And, um, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just saying I can be dangerous with my tongue and with my words if I'm not careful. Um, and, and I've seen times where I've used that and it hasn't been good because you can really cut with your words, you know, and that's not what, that's not what the tongue is for. It's something that I, that like at my core, I have to remind myself, you, Jory, you've got to be careful with your words. You cannot use your words to cut um, when you're upset or when you see something that needs correction or whatever it is. You know, if I'm parenting, I have to be careful not to like... Um, yeah, cut with my words. Um, I can use words to explain or to, you know, bring some form of discipline. But when it gets into like, 
attempting to cut, then it's then it's not good, and we got to be careful with that. But here, it's, you know, it's talking about even every idle word that we shouldn't just be speaking things. I know I may run into this first, but the Bible says to be slow to speak. Let me keep going through some of these. Oh, now it's smaller. Okay, let's look here. Okay. James 3, 2 through 10, For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits in the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. Proverbs 12.18 says, There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So you can use it for killing or healing. Psalm 34.13, Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Proverbs 18.21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. 1 Peter 3.10, For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. You want to love life and see good days? There it is. You got the answer. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. I used to love that one for myself uh, as a child. You know, it was one I actually quoted to myself a wise. Um, it was one I actually quoted to myself a lot when I was younger. Even a fool is thought to be wise if he holds his tongue. And sometimes stop, pause before you speak. Don't just speak. Get good at listening. You know, um, I enjoy listening to Joe Rogan's podcast. And, you know, I don't agree with everything he says. And he uses a lot of foul language um, that I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, but I think I really value his ability to talk to people in, in a very honest and, and meaningful way. Um, and what struck me was, you know, I've, I've prayed that he would know the Lord. And I've, I'm seeing things where I think the truth is getting to him. Um, and, I, and because he is a seeker, because he does want to know truth, I believe he'll find the Lord. But, it, but I noticed he actually quoted uh, something the other day that's from the Bible. And maybe he doesn't realize it, but he said, you know, I want to learn to be slow to speak and quick to listen. And that's straight from the Bible. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll bump into it here when we're going through these verses. But I just want to encourage you guys um, to, to guard your tongue. Watch what you're speaking. Speak life. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. You have the ability to give life to situations and to people just by your words. You have no idea how much power. How many times have you encountered someone who spoke something that lifted you up and, and took you to a better place? for that day, for that week, month, year, for your life. And, and just the same, how often have you encountered words that brought you down? So isn't that amazing that we have that much power in our tongue? A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth that defiles a person. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not be so. Okay. Um, just gonna go see. When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is prudent. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. Here it is, James 1, 19 through 20. Maybe some of you knew that already. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. So, uh, every idle word will be judged. And this is another part of us growing more like Messiah. 
that we have the Holy Spirit in us for the purpose of guiding, comforting, helping us in this walk, like Christian on the Pilgrim Progress Road toward the Celestial City, we are growing. We are, we are meant to be growing. We're meant to become more like Messiah as we go. We have a relationship with the Father and we have a relationship with others. And so we should be growing. We should be, we should be good at, at, um, at relationship. We should be good at, and this is something we can all do better at, uh, we should be good at confrontation when we need to be, to be able to, in humility, accept when we're confronted and, um, and have open conversations, um, quick to forgive when someone asks for forgiveness. Uh, yeah, there's so much, you know, there's so much that we can do. And if we can start by guarding our tongue, that's huge. So these are my thoughts today. It's not real long. Um, I just I wanted to I wanted to share with you what we had spoke about at our devotional the other day, and it was it was really a blessing to me that the kids were so into discussing this, and I kind of went on and on because once I realized he was interested, that Javen was interested in this verse, uh, it gave me an opportunity to speak to that because it is huge. What we say makes a big difference. Uh, so I want to I want to just leave you guys with that thought. Uh, let me go ahead and pray for you uh, before we head out. Father, I thank you for these wonderful people that I get to spend time with. I pray you'd be with them, watch over them. Help us, Lord, to guard our tongue. Help us to be slow to speak, slow to be angry, quick to listen. Help us to use our tongue for life and not death. Amen. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, I'm going to go ahead and link a couple here. Go check out those videos and I'll see you guys soon on AM Live.